Hello everybody, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2023 Ford F-150 Super Crew STX 4x4. In my opinion, I think the STX is probably the best value for your money when getting into an F-150. Uh, it's not quite the XLT tier, however, you are going to get a lot more features than just your standard XL. So starting off up front, as you can see, we've got color matched uh, front bumper color matched grill you're gonna have color matched rear bumpers as well but you're gonna get the blacked out uh, incandescent and halogen headlight bezels massive Ford grill up front or Ford boat Ford logo I should say down here we have your powder coated tow recovery hooks coming around to the side we have it looks like some Hankook Dana Pro AT2s and you're getting a 27560 R20 on an STX. Really nice gray and machined wheel. Coming up top right here, you've got your F-150 STX badging. Black mirror caps. However, you are going to get blind spot monitoring. Blacked out door handles. And it looks like we're going to get cab length running boards. This guy does have the 5.0 liter V8 in a 10 speed automatic transmission. STX 4x4 badge is going to be on the bedside right there. Incandescent tail lamps. I believe these backup lights are LED and then your blind spot monitor is going to be located right in there. Rear parking sensors integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. Trailer hitch, four pin and seven pin connectors respectively. F-150 is going to be stamped into the tailgate. Backup camera is going to be right there. Coming around to the driver's side, we have your capless fuel fill port. Overall, I really like the exterior color of this vehicle, and I think they did a really good job putting 20-inch wheels on this guy and blacking out the front headlight bezels. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So getting in is real easy with the running boards and the grab handle here on the A-pillar. But before I get in, I do want to point out this STX does not have carpet. It is all this nice rubbery material, which makes cleaning up very easy. If you're drinking something in here, a uh, milkshake, whatever, it spills on the floor, you can simply wipe it off or hose it out and not worry about ruining the carpet with stickiness. Really, really cool feature. Starting over on the driver's side door, we have all the window controls for the vehicle as well as the mirror controls, your unlock and lock buttons. Right over here, we have the cargo lamp button, rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle as well as your dimmer switch uh, dimmer or your instrument cluster dimmer switch. Electronic parking brake is going to be underneath that. Coming up top to the dashboard, it is all solid hard plastic two massive storage trays up top above the touchscreen display working our way down to the instrument cluster we have your tachometer on the left speedometer on the right various gauges in the middle and then a small lcd display underneath that coming back to the steering wheel it is a kind of hard like rubberized uh, steering wheel with mild bolsters at 10 and 2. On the left side, you're going to have all of your cruise control buttons, including your lane keep assist. Again, on an STX is pretty cool. Steering wheel mounted audio controls for the radio. Over on this side, you're going to have the controller for the center LCD display. As you can see, I'm toggling through that right now. And then you're going to have more steering wheel mounted audio controls. This guy does have the steering column shifter, which I prefer. Uh, if you're going to be in a truck, you got to have the steering wheel column shifter. You got your manual mode with your plus and minus right here. Also, if you keep the vehicle in drive and turn the vehicle off, it will automatically go to park for you, which is pretty sweet. Turn the vehicle back on because it's like 90 degrees out and I need air conditioning because it's super, super hot here in Michigan today. Above the touchscreen display, we've got your backup camera toggle button. Hazard light button, traction control off button. Right here we have an eight inch touchscreen display. It does have, I believe the older style uh, Ford sync system. It also has navigation, which is awesome. 
Uh, I believe it's got wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like it's gonna get a wireless connection as well. And as you can see, very, very hot here today in uh, Southeast Michigan. Below that, we've got your physical buttons for the radio, mute, source, screen off, pretty cool. Under that, we've got your single zone climate control, chain storage, push button transfer case, as well as your different drive modes. When you turn that dial, you will get an animation up here on the small little display, which is still pretty cool. Again, a lot of these features are very, very cool for the STX. It also has a rear locking diff that I believe stays locked up until 15 miles an hour. Really deep storage tray right here with USB and USB type C. Two cup holders, pen storage, and something that I love, when you get the steering wheel column shifter, you get the Super Duty style um, center, center console portion. Uh, this big storage tray, typically uh, with like the XLT, you get the XLT Sports and the Lariats and stuff like that. You're gonna have the shifter right here. Uh, I love having more storage space in this vehicle. You have a little secret storage tray underneath there as well. So if you have the uh, keyless entry system, you can just leave the key in the car right underneath there. Coming back to the center armrest, it's really nice, soft leather center armrest. Pull up on it, giving us access to a massive storage compartment right down here. I believe you can opt for a 12 volt outlet. This one does not have it, however. Storage right here for some change as well as some business cards. And then there is a cutout for cord management. Kind of unique cloth seats. Again, rubber floors. Right here we've got two different power plugs. We got a 12 volt outlet. And then we've got another USB and USB type C for the passenger. This guy has two glove boxes. Uh, the first one in the STX is kind of like a shelf. And the second one is accessed right there. Coming up top to the vanity, it is gonna be non-lit for your passenger and your driver does not get a vanity. Up top in the center, you have glass of storage, your LED dome map light master controls, and then your non-dimming rear view mirror. So overall, like I said, uh, bang for your buck, STX is definitely where it's at. Uh, this can definitely be optioned um, even more so if you'd like. Uh, I think you're going to get a lot of creature comforts in this uh, for not a lot of money compared to the uh, XL. And then if you want to upgrade to an XLT, I believe that's where you start spending a little bit more money. But you do have the option in the XLT to get the 12.3 inch touchscreen, I believe. Uh, that touchscreen is absolutely awesome and I think that one now is probably uh, like the industry leader. So really, really like the uh, interior so far. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So again, before I get in, I wanna point out, it's real easy with these oversized running boards and the grab handle on the B pillar, but these seats do fold up, giving us access to a load flat floor. There is no transmission hump, so if you have a large TV, I believe up to a 60 inch TV or maybe even a 65 inch TV, you can put it back here and not have to worry about putting it in the bed and having it fall over. To unlock the seat, you just simply pull on this little string and it unlocks itself. Getting up and in, again, easy peasy. Tons and tons of legroom back here. I think from the seat back to this seat, you have about two and a half feet. Um, tons and tons of space. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seat. Cup holders right here for the rear passengers. 12 volt outlet, and then again, another USB and USB type C. Air conditioning vents for the rear passengers, which is always appreciated. STX does not come with a center armrest slash cup holder and it does not come with a uh, power sliding rear window, which honestly I, I kind of like. Tons and tons of headroom in here. As you can see, they push the headliner up as high to the uh, roof as they possibly could to maximize headroom for the front two occupants. Back here, it's even greater. LED dome map lights and integrated hanger hook on both driver and passenger side as well. Tons and tons of space, very comfortable back here. Let's take a quick look at the bed. So being the STX, it's not really gonna have any assisted or dampened uh, tailgate. So to, to open it, you're gonna come up to it, push it, or pull it I should say, and it will automatically fall for you. Looks like we got a drop-in bed liner from the factory. 
four tie down points, one in each of the four corners for a total of eight. This doesn't have the newer updated uh, tailgate back. However, you do have your C-clamp uh, ports right here. You also have an additional tie down point on each side of the tailgate that doubles as a bottle opener. Now, because this entire vehicle is aluminum, I can take two fingers, slam the tailgate shut and call it a day. Let's take a quick look at that towing and payload sticker. So here's a towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. Keep in mind, if you see one on your local dealer lot that is slightly different, it could be because how it's uh, packaged or optioned. A good rule of thumb, the more packages and options you have, the less towing and payload you'll get. Let's take a quick look at that window sticker now. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it's a 2023 F-150 4x4 Super Crew with a 5.0 V8 and a 10-speed automatic transmission. Carbonized gray metallic exterior color. Standard equipment's gonna be right here for a base price of $45,410. Optional equipment is gonna be right here. Most notably, we have the 102A package for $385. 5.0 V8 engine option for 2335 stx appearance package for 2585 as well as some other miscellaneous packages and charges you are going to get it looks like some discounts here totaling 2095 dollars bringing the total msrp to 53110 dollars now depending on your discounts rebates and incentives this can be had for well under 50 grand which is pretty sweet Fuel economy rating is going to be right here. This vehicle is rated at 16 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 18 miles per gallon. I'd like to thank Spirit Ford for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2023, soon to be 2024 lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Let Cheryl Yaros know you saw the video and she'll be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more vehicle walkthroughs, definitely subscribe to the channel and please be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.